my loves so of course i look the same as the last vlog because i'm starting it later on in the day but i've managed to get everything done i'm just uploading yesterday's vlog for you that is gonna go up late so i'm sorry but i literally you've seen how much i've been juggling like just life with me but i'm just about to grab my things i'm gonna head out i'm gonna go to tk max my sister is here and she wants to go so i just said we'll go get out of the way and then we need to pick up a couple of ingredients i think we're just gonna make some pizzas tonight just keep it nice and simple and not have to stress about cooking too much because it is intense cooking every single day and we are running out of ideas on what to cook and then get it going out and getting the ingredients and it's always just such a headache because i go out for one thing and i end up spending money on things that i didn't even need so it, it always costs me more than what it should and yes you could certainly also have self-control but i have no self-control and supermarkets are very sneaky okay they put all the things you need like the bread the milk the eggs at the back of the store so you have to walk through the whole store to go get it because then they know there's people like me that will be like oh Ooh, Jaffa cakes are a pound. Oh, they've got ice cream on for sale, and then I'll pick it up, and it's a whole other ball game. I just have to remind myself to keep my glasses on as well for the rest of the evening because I've been at the screen all day and I've got into a really bad habit of not wearing my glasses, and I need to. So let me grab my things. I'm gonna head out. Marcus had his hair cut and he's back home now. And he's like, Take Mia with you. I was like, I'm not taking Mia with me. She'll be a right pain, but I don't know if I'm gonna take her with me. But just getting her in and out of the car is just ugh, the weather's dull. My mind is dull. This is not a very positive start. <laughs> but I'm just like, mm, less work the better. Oh, I've decided to take her with me. How could I leave her behind? How could I leave her behind? Are you ready? Are you going to get Max? Come on then. When you get back, it's a bath and bed. Food, bath and bed. This bench is so nice, you guys. If I had like a big hallway, I would definitely get it. Like what you could put your shoes on. But we're just having a quick look. It means it's just having some food. And oh, look how nice this is. Oh no, it's like a bit of a cabinet. It's not wooden. But I just want, I know I need a couple of things. Like I need a basket. So I definitely need like a basket. To, for the toilet for the bathroom but i'm just gonna have a look at a couple of other things to see what i could find if there's any steels hi schemies so we are just gonna head upstairs now and i think i'm gonna get some more plates maybe if they have any i don't need any more plates but i want some how cute is this basket you guys i think i might get this for mia's room just like pop some bits and you can never have too many baskets when you've got a baby trust me just having a look for some more candles because you can never get too many candles. Look at the way this madam is sitting right now. Mia, just no, no care in the world. Just pure vibes, chilling. Memes. <laughs> so there's not a lot in this TK Maxx, but I think I've got a few bits that were needed. Guys, so sorry, it's a little bit dark. And you have to put the lights on, but we ended up running into Aldi too because like I said we're just to make them Aldi pizzas that we have because we can't bother to cook today. And I just thought I'd quickly show you the bits that we got from TK Maxx. Got a few bits back actually, because I actually sat there and contemplated memes. I actually sat there and contemplated it. I was like, I don't need this stuff. But I did spend one of my vouchers, so a lot of this was free for me. <laughs> but yes, let me show you. So the first thing I got was like another bowl. I think a few more bowls and I'm done with the bowls and then I need to look for some more plates I need the larger plates and then the smaller plates oh. to build my collection up means dub it me and needs to get to bed as well so I'm just waiting for Marcus to get out of the shower and I can literally pop into bed but it's from the aphorism company so that's one that I've got a lot of these bowls from I love these like cereal bowls They're so deep and like just nice to hold and eat from then I picked up, I've been looking for a new bedspread for ages and I've been struggling to find one that I like but then I found this, it's more of a um, throw than it is a bedspread but I found this for my bedroom and even though it doesn't necessarily go with the colours in there at the minute I like different sort of patterns and textures and I did really, make it sorry my camera and I did really like this so I can't wait to pop it on the bed and see what it's like and then for candles, my sister spotted the patchouli oud ones. If you guys have followed me before, you'll know that these, oh my god, I bought the massive one. Oh, I love the scent of it. It's like such a sweet oud scent. And honestly, it's, it says it's dark, smoky and aromatic. And oh, I just love it. It's got mahogany in it as well, patchouli and musk. 
and it is such a beautiful like musk scent and they only had the little ones and they had two so of course me being me i couldn't leave one for someone else i had to grab both of them <laughs> like these lit at night time are just vibes like they're just a scent that you want to remember love love them so it's more of like a nighttime scent i'd say with me being a candle connoisseur of course you guys know i'm obsessed with my candles then i also picked up oh my goodness did that spill in the bag oh it's been spilling in the bag luckily not a lot of it oh i'm so mad because i picked up this really nice um spray it's room and linen fragrance so you can spray it on like your sheets and then also just in the room and oh my god it is so nice it is um artemisia and patchouli i'm not sure how you pronounce it oh it's been leaking the bag but anyways i picked this up because i thought just to have in my bedroom it's like a really nice one you know and i'm I, you guys know i like to spray my like bed linen and this one's such a beautiful scent it's a quite a sweet scent and Oh, it's just very nice. It's not sweet. It's like a... It's in between like a sweet and musky scent. And it's just beautiful. I can definitely smell vanilla notes in there for sure. And then I picked up some hand wash. This is just some hand and body wash. Just smelled really nice. And I thought now the way this, my bathroom styled up, like these type of bottles would look really nice in there. And then one thing I did that I'm excited to try is I've been having trouble not getting to sleep as such but relaxing when i am trying to get sleep i think if i don't know if it's just because it's that time for me but i've been getting a lot of like anxiety as well at the minute and i struggle to relax in my own bed which I sh shouldn't be a thing but i bought this pillow mist so this is a lavender pillow mist and it calms the mind and body for peaceful rest so these are supposed to spray like before you go to sleep and I picked this one up because I liked the lavender scent, which I didn't think I would like because normally I don't. But I'll leave that on my bedside table so that I'm going to try that tonight as well and see if it does actually help. You know, the scent, it gives you a very much of like a spa scent. And I can't wait to try it. Did you end up picking one up? You didn't get one? Uh, you should have got one. The, these were only like 3 99 as well, so I thought it's definitely worth the shot. It's also in like a beautiful glass bottle. Look very nice on my bedside table. I'm still on the hunt for bedside tables, guys. I see them. I'm like, should I order it? Then I change my mind. What are you smiling at? What's that cheeky smile for? Do you the cheeky smile? Whoa. Say so goodnight. Come here. We're going to wait for Papa to get out of the shower. Then we're going to give you a shower. Then we're going to put you to bed, okay? Yeah, she's been brushing her teeth now, guys. We started brushing her teeth, haven't we? Are we gonna brush your teeth before? Bed? <coughs> ah, that's why she's been a little bit bratty. Given Marcus strict instructions that he cannot light this until the house is clean, Marcus. Then we light it at night time and we enjoy it. It's very hard to come by. I know, but it'll be clean five minutes when Mia's in bed. And this is just proof of the hygiene standards in this house. The hygiene. Wait, can I just tell you guys? He showered and he's put his hair back on. Can I just tell you guys? This woman's been saying she's been a clean for ages. Go do it, come George. Go. I'm not come George. You're come George. Go. You're come George. Guys, it's time to make the easiest iftar you can. And this is literally just the Aldi pizzas. We just use the Aldi base. And then we also use um, the mozzarella. So Marcus wanted some beef salami on his, so I'm using this one. We picked it up from Tesco, no, we picked it up from Asda, and it's the Halal Tahira one. We've not, I don't think we've tried this one before, but it looks like he's had it, I think, maybe at Sahur. So yeah, we picked this one up from Asda, and he's going to have that on his pizza. I think we've got some, like, chicken pieces I might put on mine, just like the Halal ones, once again, we picked up from, I think they might, it might have been Tesco Halal section, or Asda's Halal section, I don't know. So Marcus's pizza looks done to me. I think I might just put it in, in the bottom shelf for a few more minutes. Uh, 
right one room down and the rest to go the only thing i can't do tonight is hoover but that's fine i can do that first thing in the morning but the dressing room is finally clean after not being able to see this floor for like days so it's a very it's a very happy time for me right now i'm gonna move on to my bedroom mia's room's all clean i'm just gonna give the bathroom a wipe down and then i just have the hallway to clear so guys i just wanted to see what the bread spread would look like on the bed and i actually really like it i think it actually goes quite nicely with the room actually so i'm very pleased with it glad i picked it up it's a little bit short on the sides but if i push it more this way then it won't matter because you can't see that side anyway um but yeah i really like it So guys the bedroom is clean and once again just need to hoover in here but I'm not going to be able to do that till the morning because means is fast asleep. I've got my drink ready before bed I'm going to get a top up. I've got my lavender spray set on the side that I'll use before I go to bed and I've actually just sprayed from TK Maxx the one that I showed you earlier and oh my god you guys it is the most beautiful scent if you see it in your tk maxx like get hold of it i don't want to spray too much because tokyo's in here but honestly it's just nice just nice chilled vibes and i love this like little throw as well I've got little tassels on the side i feel like i had a really nice successful tk maxx run today but i'm really this is what i needed when i said i've not been able to relax properly in bed now it's all nice and clean and it's like a lot more zen and everything it's going to help me relax massively i've just got our dehumidifier on um just before we go to bed for a little bit and it's just nice and cozy vibes and i def genuinely do think this is what i needed and in short tonight i'll be able to have a nice cozy sleep because i you know feel so behind and it's really messed me up during the day so guys just finished the bathroom just giving everything a wipe down to make it nice and clean and also just don't like all the mirrors in here i still i've still not ordered a light um but someone one of you guys sent me a light that was really nice on instagram um, I need to find the DM again because I've actually really liked the light that you sent me, thank you. Um, and I'm going to look to order it for the bathroom because it was like a black and gold one, looks really good. So I'll just clean the shower, that's now all nice and spotless, nice and shiny, but it's going to get ruined in a second because I think I'm going to have a bath tonight, you know. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower before I get into bed. Also, I've just gone ahead and replaced all the towels with fresh new towels too for us to use i'm gonna go on i think i'm gonna have a shower now because i feel filthy after cleaning but i think to like unwind and really you know get ready and i really want to focus on my sleep tonight and relax so that i've got like a fresh mind tomorrow and you know i'm ready to go and i don't have to worry about anything i think i'm just gonna shower tonight as much as i love my morning shower sometimes a nighttime shower just like hits the spot and it's just what you need to do i've just gone ahead and replaced the hand soap with this one that i picked up from tk maxx too it looks really nice in the bathroom and then those flowers from downstairs that i picked up from Donnell, i decided they'd look really cute there to be fair just next to the window i do need to give the window clean that's the last thing left and just like the ledge um but yeah i think they look quite nice in here so we keep them there right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and unwind now and get ready for bed because is a lot later than what I'd like to get into bed. I'm gonna take my makeup off. Like, speaking of taking makeup off, I just want to let you guys know, like, a little bit of a skin update. Sorry, guys, you can hear our toilet's really weird at the minute when you flush it, like, it just carries on flushing. I think Marcus needs to look into it, but anyways, back to what I was saying. The skin at the minute, like, I'm so pleased with my skin. I know I've mentioned it to you before, but I just keep like seeing differences in my skin the more and more like i'm taking care of it like absolutely glowing i just think it's so nice 
to be able to look and feel happy like with your skin when you see it and just dr ahmed has just helped with that so much i mean the guy is an absolute genius with what he knows he, he's just so knowledgeable when it comes to skincare like i know some of you have dm me saying that you've had your consultations with him or i know some of you have even been to see him you booked in for procedures and it it's just a case of whatever your problem is like he will be able to tell you what direction you need to take to help tackle those issues in your skin and it's a little bit of like a geek when it comes to his science behind you know how certain things work because he's of arabic heritage that he knows a lot more about my skin tone your skin tone people who have darker skin tones like he knows what suits us best and to have someone that fully understands our skin type and what people of like darker skin tones need is just it's it's amazing i am just in absolute awe of the man's work i'm gonna take this off so i'll actually show you my skin i'll give you an update but i did want to let you guys know as well that um like i said not an ad but he is still holding if you um just want a consultation he's doing virtual consultations as well what i'll actually do for you is i'll leave the swipe up in the description box you can go online and you can book yourself in to have like a virtual skin uh, consultation i put a plan together for you it's 50 pounds for the consultation but if you pop my name when you book in you'll actually get that 50 pounds back to spend towards your products you can also fully tell him what your budget is because he has products that he can recommend to you that are budget friendly but one thing that I've really been loving at the moment is watching his YouTube channel. I think I told you guys recently that he, he's launched his new YouTube channel. And honestly, it's so I watched the his reaction to Gwyneth Paltrow's skincare routine. And honestly, I was in tears. I was like, it's just so informative. Just so much knowledge on that. And it's free knowledge. That's the thing about it is that it's free knowledge. So that is there at your fingertips. You can go ahead, you can subscribe and you'll get notification each time you know he uploads a video like let me show you my skin obviously it still looks it looks a little bit red because i've just been rubbing my makeup off but i mean just once it settles down i'll show you after i shower in fact you'll just see like how even my skin tone is Apologies, the bathroom is very, very steamy at the minute. I'm just gonna quickly cleanse the rest of my face. I just wanted to show you, I just wanted to show you up close. Uh, I'm still a bit red. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying to you guys while I went in the shower, is that honestly, just the combination of what I'm doing with my skin right now is working. And this is coming from a girl that has never really put much thought into her skin, like literally up until recently. Yeah, I use skincare products, but I never really understood what works for me, why it works for me, and then what I need to do, like, just in day to day. And I've gained that knowledge so much in the last in the last year, I'd say. It's just nice to have that feeling, just to come on here and just be like, hey guys, this is like my skin, blah, blah, blah. And, do you know what I mean? It's just nice to have that feeling of where you can't wait to have your makeup free days because you love the way that your skin is anyway like i just thought i'd really catch you guys up on that as well by the way guys the cut in my nose seems to be getting better it still hurts at certain points but i've definitely noticed a difference with it feeling better i just can't wait to put my body lotion on and get into bed and i literally just feel so fresh right now um, I'm gonna towel dry my hair, but not too much because I don't like to um, really towel dry it. Cause literally, I put too much cream on it. It looks like I put a face mask on, <laughs> doesn't it? Does it not look like I put a face mask on? It's ridiculous. Right, all that's left to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pop moisturizer on my body, pop some oil in my hair, and then get ready to get into bed. But this is happy. Yeah, it's been a very cozy like evening and um, let me know if you felt the same if you like like these little cozy vibes i have to don't i marcus is giving me specific instructions to spray this on his pillow too 
I always sleep with two pillows, he sleeps with one. Right guys, we're all ready for bed. We have our drinks ready for bed as well. Max and I always have dilute at night time. Well, we used to, we used to be really good at it, so we're going to get him back to that now. But I think I'm going to leave it here and call it a night. Good night. I hope you all have had a lovely day and I'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye.